You know, if you just preach the Bible, your congregation has to be involved. Because if we're to be the salt and light in the world, that's in the world. Jesus said, go into the world. So you can't go into the world and be the church and not get involved. The church used to be where people got their information. But now, uh, we have no unbiased information. So I think it's again an opportunity for the church to become uh, the information center for accurate information uh, that might tell the people about what's going on. There's no way you can see a society going the wrong direction and not step in and say, hey, this is the way we should go. If we're the light of the world, that means your light is for your guide. So if we are going to guide uh, this world, then we have to be out front leading. Well, we have a place, a uh, place to be informative, uh, a place to uh, uh, educate people upon the issues, uh, how it's going to affect society, how it's going to affect uh, the church. Uh, we have a place uh, to inform people about uh, political situations and what candidates believe. And uh, we, have, we have the opportunity to encourage people to get involved in the process. I've always said, as I've, as I've noticed over the years now, over the decades, that uh, the, the world is just simply a reflection of what's taking place in the church. So when we see things start going wrong in the world, we have to take a look at ourselves and say, what are we doing in the church? Because if we are the salt and the light, if we are the guiding light, then our light must be dim for the world to be doing the things that it's doing. We have an opportunity. It's an opportunity to be a spokesperson for the Lord to the people. That they might go back to Tyson, or they might go back to Husqvarna, they might go back to the place that they work, or go back to the soccer field. And when brought into conversation about the issues that are going on, uh, they're informed enough to make uh, some kind of statement that might uh, strike a chord with someone else. We have to continuously preach the word. That's not a subject that's taking place uh, in our society today that the scripture does not give a solution for.